Right in the thick of postseason tennis, Wabonzi Valley coach Phil Gallo is right in his element. It is spring after all. Come summer, though, it's a different story. NSW's Kamenenchev has more. Wabonzi Valley's Phil Gallo coaches both the boys and girls tennis teams, which has been a huge part of his life. As soon as I stop enjoying what I'm doing, that's time for me to quit. And for 37 years I enjoyed teaching, 35, and for 37 years I'm still enjoying coaching. And so here I am. And Gallo has a simple coaching philosophy. I think the one thing that any athlete, whether I coached them in basketball for boys, Girls tennis, boys tennis would say that being treated fairly and the same way across the board is what has been a motto of mine. But Gallo doesn't spend this full year in this area. He lives in Tucson, Arizona during the tennis off seasons. The transition is beauty to beauty is what I call it. I just have to get used to the cold when I come back for the boys season. But living across the country isn't that different when you consider that Gallo grew up in Sierra Leone, a country in West Africa while his parents who adopted him served as missionaries. My upbringing overseas taught me to be very humble. Um, from what I see when I come back to the United States, um, it's amazing what these kids have and I think every kid should be allowed to go to a country that is not as privileged as we are here in the United States. Gallo was thankful for all of his experiences. Like you said, it's a different life going from Arizona to Illinois. It's also a different life going from west coast of Africa to United States. And I probably should write a book is what I've been told sometime. But um, I enjoy, have enjoyed all the cultures that I've been able to be around. A coach that's traveled the world and experienced life. For NSW, I'm Common and Chev.